Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. I have something special for you Nissan 370Z fans or Z fans in general. This beautiful 2014 370Z Nesmo that we took in on trade. It's pretty much the ultimate version of the 370Z. I love it. It really is a focused, uh, pure sports car. You can't get much purer than this. Two-seater, it's loud, it vibrates. It's not for the faint of heart, but in my business, especially working at Infinity of Tacoma where we get a lot of nice high-end and performance vehicles, I've had a chance to drive many performance cars in my automotive life. And the 370Z, to me, is one of the most, uh, well, the 370Z, specifically Nismo, is the probably the car that, to me, seems to be as close to a, a race truck or a truck car that you can buy and drive on the street. Obviously you can modify cars to make them more like a race car, but out of the box, this thing really is a very raw and focused vehicle. It, like I said, it's loud, it's gonna have a stiff ride, but when it comes to cornering and you know performance, this thing has it in spades. And it doesn't have a huge powerful engine. If you're looking for like a super rush of acceleration, something making four or 500 horsepower, you're not gonna get it with a 370Z. Uh, the power delivery of the VQ engine is very linear. It's still quick, zero to 60 in five and a half seconds, but doesn't have that raw, doesn't have that super low end torque of like a big V8. And uh, I think for a track car, uh, it's perfectly balanced. I think the chassis, the way the vehicle's set up is perfectly tuned to 350 horsepower and that type of situation. If you have five or 600 horsepower in this vehicle, it's just gonna overpower the chassis and it's not really gonna make it, it might make it faster in a straight line, but on talking about track performance, it's not gonna be quite as balanced. Of course, there's lots of upgrades, superchargers and turbos and stuff that you can do to eat get more power on the 370Z, but with past experience, the VQ37 is a fantastic engine, but it's happy just being left the way it is, the way the engineers left it. I've seen people add turbos to these engines and, and uh, usually uh, the engines don't like it, and they don't last that long, but you leave them alone, these are great engines. I've seen them go 200, 300,000 miles. Of course, you get a little bit extra supportive seats with the Nismo package. It's a pretty sparse interior. It's not like the Grand Touring, but like I said, this is a Focus sports car. Uh, the customer who traded this one, and he actually traded in two vehicles. He traded in a pretty modified Golf R. I think he had probably about 20 grand of modifications in that Golf R. Uh, maybe he liked that one a little bit better. The Niz or maybe the Nismo didn't need all those upgrades, but the, this has got a few upgrades on it, but not quite as much as the Golf R. You can see it has an aftermarket infotainment system. It's actually, when I when we appraised it, it was working, but now it's not a, working, so we might have to troubleshoot it, but honestly, it might just be old and it might need to be replaced, so we'll kind of cross that bridge uh, when we get there, but you know, an aftermarket radio is not a really big deal in a vehicle like this, and it kind of obstructs the climate control settings, but I mean, it's pretty cool. I can understand why the customer wanted it. I don't think I would do this. I don't know how you feel about it, but like I said, we'll cross that bridge. It's got the rev uh, downshifting, so when you downshift, it'll automatically blip the throttle, uh, so you can have very smooth uh, downshifts with that rev matching. And you can get the, I, I know eventually they had a seven speed automatic on these, but man, if I was gonna get a car like this, get it with a six speed manual. I'm a manual transmission enthusiast. In fact, I have a, a 2005 G35 six speed sedan, which essentially is like a luxury four door version of the 350Z. Uh, they're built on the same platform, the advanced front midget platform. In fact, w me working for Infinity 16 years, I did two years at Nissan. Uh, pretty much for a long time, the, the Z platform, the advanced front midget platform was the backbone of Infinity's product line. They use this uh, platform on the G35, the G37, the Q50, the Q60, the Q70, the Q the old generation QX50, and the QX70 were all built on the advanced front midship sports car platform. Until this day, they actually still use it on the Q50 and the Q60. It's a very balanced platform. It's a rear-wheel drive-based platform, and it is fantastic. You have this nice asymmetrical steering wheel. It has this Alcantara type suede cloth on the sides. They had this little uh, red, uh, kind of a leather thing here to show when the steering wheel centered. That's part of the Nismo package. You get Nismo gauges as well. This one has a, I think it's a pretty much a cat back exhaust system. Mm -hmm. 
Looks like it has uh, aftermarket headers on it. I know part of the Nismo exhaust system comes from the factory, but the customer, I think, added some other aftermarket elements to the exhaust system. It might also have uh, some coilover shocks on it. I'd have to double check that um, on the build list. But the uh, 370Z Nismo comes with a factory body kit, and it's not just uh, designed to look good. The uh, body kit improves the uh, downforce and performance of the 370Z. So obviously the spoiler, the rear bumper, this is all exclusive to the Nismo package. You have these huge uh, Nismo uh, pipes coming at the back. And uh, you can see this is Fair Lady. Uh, that's actually what they call the Z in Japan. Uh, way back in the day when they were, were talking about bringing the original Z over to the US, uh, the market analyst, probably a good idea, was finding, okay, the, the name Fair Lady works for a sports car in Japan, but, you know, when you're trying to compete with Porsche and, you know, uh, break into the US market, having a sports car called a Fair Lady doesn't sound good quite well in the English market, so they called it the, uh, the 280Z, and uh, the Z name has stuck ever since. But some people paying homage to the JDMZs, they like to, to rebadge them as fair ladies. So that's why they do that. Of course, you get these amazing Rays uh, alloy wheels. These are really expensive wheels. If you're gonna buy these themselves, they'd probably cost a fortune, thousands of dollars to get these on the used market, but these come standard with the Nismo. You get bigger brakes. Uh, he added uh, some extensions to the, uh, to the side sills. These gray accents. That was an update for 2014 on the Nismo. Before, the whole uh, Nismo body kit was monochromatic on the previous ones, but they added some gray accents and some red accents on the mirrors in there for 2014, just to kind of make it pop a little bit better. And they also uh, did this with updates to the, uh, the Juke version, the Nismo version of the Juke, which kind of had similar styling, but this is, <laughs> this is a way better performance vehicle than a, a Nissan Juke. And the heart of the 370Z is the award-winning VQ37 engines. Like I said, I've seen these engines go 200, 300,000 miles. We actually just sold a uh, uh, 08 G35 sedan. With a, we took it on trade of 150,000 miles on it, still running great. Uh, they do some tuning to the ECU and then the uh, Nismo exhaust system. Gets this thing to about 350 horsepower. Um, a good amount of power for a vehicle like this. Like I said, it's not gonna push you back in your seat, but it's a good balanced amount of power to keep this thing fun to drive. You can push it hard and you don't have to worry about this thing biting you too bad. Obviously, you have to, you have to know what you're doing if you're gonna drive a car like this aggressively because it can turn, turn around and bite you if you don't know what you're doing or if you shut the direction and stability control system off. Also has an aftermarket engine mounts on it. Makes it a little bit more vibrating, a little bit more vibration, a little bit raw of a feel. Might not be everyone's cup of tea, uh, but maybe it's yours. One awesome 370Z Nismo. I love these, such a fun car. And like I said, it's as close as, a, the, out of all the cars I can think of recent memory, this is as close as to a street legal race car that I can think of. I've had a chance to drive many of these on the road. Not maybe the easiest car to live with every day, but a weekend warrior, definitely a lot of fun. And we have a big pre-owned business. We can get this thing shipped just about anywhere in the country. Contact us for more details. We can help you get it registered. Uh, sales tax, you're gonna pay sales tax where you live, just as long as you don't have a residence here in Washington, if applicable. And for you guys that live a little bit more local, right now we have complimentary shipping up to 250 miles, so we can put this on our transporter, bring it to your house, can have all the paperwork pre-printed, take it for a little spin, make sure you like it. All checks out, you can send the paperwork and you can have this beautiful Nismo without ever having to leave your house. Just, got, just kind of like buying a car from Carvana or one of those big companies, but you're dealing with a smaller local business. We can tailor the buying process to you. And uh, we have a lot of options as far as financing and credit unions and stuff like that. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you see us soon and have a wonderful day.